Uh, actually, this song has grown on me quite a bit. I never thought it was bad or anything. I just think the soundtrack for this game is, you know, it's not phenomenal or anything. But, yeah, okay. So Wario games have already been pretty weird. You got the two Mario Land games that he's in. And then... For some reason, two puzzle-ish games. I mean, they're both puzzle games, but one's sort of a puzzle platformer. And then you got this. I, What they decided to do with the Wario character was very strange. I mean, I'm glad they were excited about him, but who decided on this game at all? Also, this is the only game ever to star regular Toad as the sole playable character. Where Toad is the main character, this is the only game. And I do mean regular Toad. So yeah, pretty weird that they haven't done that since. Uh, Mario Wiki will tell you that there is another game called Canopio Live, which should realistically be translated as Toad Live. But that is a mini game that is included in a, another Satellaview game. So that one doesn't really count as its own game. Although, technically, you could say Mario Party Star Rush, uh, which we'll get to way later on this channel, uh, stars Toad. But I don't remember too much about that game, to be perfectly honest, so. Yeah, I, I'm used to pressing up instead of X, because that's how you do it in the uh, NES version, and I did a lot of, and I do definitely mean a lot of practice with the NES version. Uh, because it's on Switch Online, and I didn't have to set up my SNES for it. Oops. Alright, please, promise me no more any- Okay, you lied. You lied to me. And that's not cool. Maybe- Okay, nope, more enemies. Gotcha. There we go. Did he just- Bat- Body slam the tree? His signature body slam makes a comeback? I really don't like those sprites of him walking off. So what have you guys been up to? Uh, today is September 18th, 2021. This is like the second day out of the month I would have been able to record, but I fell asleep the first day while waiting on my pal David to come over. And so I did not get to record that day, sadly. But oh well, I'm recording today. I was supposed to go have a yard sale that my mother-in-law has been trying to have for so long. And then had to postpone because it's supposed to rain. It rained all day yesterday. Hasn't rained at all today. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know. Am I right? Man, these are some expert tactics. I do like the Wario song, too. Do -do -do -do! I'm sorry for insulting the Nintendo composer by uh, having them think, by having them emasculated because my version's so much better. That's a lot of spuds. Holy God! Why? W why? Sprite, please! I always want to call her Wanda because she looks like Wanda and is basically the same character as Wanda from Mario and Wario, but developed by two different companies. So why... okay. Oh yeah, combos, as it said in the tutorial, will make the Thwomp go back up. They never called a Thwomp in-game, but it's clearly a Thwomp. Please, just... oh my god. Okay, well, that's why I didn't get rid of all those bombs. Didn't get rid of some of those. Yes, yes. Alright, the controls are obnoxious. Like, there's, there's too much going on in this game. I mean, I could see why some people would like that, but no. I If I'm going to play a puzzle game, I want it to be a little simpler. Oh, no coins? Or gold or whatever? Fine. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Round 14. Things are really heating up now. Uh... I was about to say we haven't even gotten to a boss yet, but 
That's a separate mode in this version. Oops. Oh, thank God. There we go. So I watched through all of Gravity Falls with my wife. Uh, that was fun. I always thought I wasn't going to be into the show for whatever reason. I thought the same thing about Steven Universe, but that was just horribly wrong. And Gravity Falls is just an absolutely amazing show. So I'm very sad I hadn't watched it before. Here we go. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Alright, no, I want that. No, that's not, oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh god, okay, th that, if, before that egg hatches. No, the egg still counts as an enemy, even though I don't know what's in it. And then of course it's blue. Oh my god, no. Oh god, come on, please. There we go. Come on, some gold. One gold! Woo! Wow, I'm not doing so hot. Last time I played this, uh, by that I totally mean yesterday, I didn't only practice once and then get sick of this game. I felt like I was getting a lot more extra lives, which is what the gold is for. It's kind of surprising they didn't use a point system. But hey, it's interesting. I mean, it feels better. Doesn't it feel better to get money than to get not money, to get arbitrary points? I think so. Let that take care of itself. There we go. Ooh, ooh, yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright, and... Come on. No, okay. Yes! That was epic, you guys. That was truly epic. Oh! Oh, I never finished my thought from earlier when I was reading the tutorial. Uh, this is the first game to be released and the only game for the NES to have an ESRB rating because the ESRB was formed uh, after that congressional hearing regarding mostly non-Nintendo games that had absurd amounts of violence. Uh, and I've gone on the video games and violence rant a million times. But for those who have never seen me before, there is a correlation there. <laughs> it is, like, you cannot argue with the science. But it is the most debated, like, irrationally debated thing ever. At least in social psychology. And I think that's hilarious. Cool. That is cool, my dude. Oh, yes. Winner. Uh, but... <laughs> So we are getting into some really important territory, I think. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, whew. This whole program got a lot taller all of a sudden. Uh, I'm intimidated. There we go. That felt good. Um, okay. Sure, that'll work. That won't. Um... What do I do? Oh my god, what do I do? I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> um, oh, but for the video game industry to start marking it like with ratings, like movies and shows do, I think that's an important step in recognizing video games as an important medium. Which, you know, people still don't do. People still won't recognize video games as art even though they consider movies art. It makes literally no sense. I mean, sure, if you're looking at strictly 90s video games, I can see that argument a little better. But now, not not even just talking about graphics, but the in-depth like visual novels we have, they're literally just stories 
where you press buttons to advance it instead of... Oh, I've never seen her say oh. Does that mean it's a close call? You did it? Good job? Is that, is that what O oh means, Birdo? <laughs> that could mean a lot of different things, Birdo. Oh my god, I hate this. You have to be a certain height to put stuff, put things different places, and I haven't kicked once, so we're gonna kick. Okay, uh. I'm getting sick of it. I'm so sick of this. Your attention deficit. Never listen. Never listen. That's from the first album I ever bought with my own money. The Victorious soundtrack. I later bought the second and third Victorious soundtracks. Cool. It wasn't cool. <laughs> it really wasn't. But I thought it was at the time. I also bought an Avenged Sevenfold album and Ariana, Gr Ariana Grande's debut solo album with my own money. And I was a minor then with no job. Most like 14 year olds, they don't have much money, but that instead of a game, that's what I spent my money on. I bought the Marshall Mathers LP2. One I don't regret is Hobson's Not Madness, the Lonely Island's Whack album. That was a good purchase. And then I got locked out of iTunes, so I just started pirating music again. Now I just use Spotify like most people these days. Sad to say. I don't like when culture evolves because that means change is abound. And when change is abound, that means I'm losing part of my childhood. My childhood ends even more than it already has when change happens. So that's why I don't like change. I feel like that's a very common thing in psychology is people don't want to grow up. So uh, they have different coping mechanisms. Some are a lot healthier than others, I feel like. I don't want that. Why do we... Why, why do you do that to me? Why? Okay. That's not what I wanted at all. <sighs> also not what I wanted at all, but hey. Boom, it worked. We are at the high score now, round 18, the farthest we've made it. Oh, it probably will stay that way. <laughs> oh God. Okay, we got this. We are totally going to do this. Okay. No, I want that up here. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Okay. Okay. We just got to focus on keeping these bombs blown up. That's all we got to do. Don't let too many bombs hanging. Don't let them hanging? This commentary is probably not that great, but I'm not going to get much better. This is a puzzle game. And actually, now that I think about it, this is my first take. This was supposed to be a practice take. I'm pleasantly surprised at myself. Oh, I just got too excited about Wario's Woods. I couldn't take it anymore. Oh god. Okay, we have a whole bunch of No! <laughs> uh, so I made a big mistake. You remember when I used to do that all the time in my videos? Classic LP Master 6. I totally knew that move was gonna work. That's why I did it. So, um, you know, I think it's really screwed up that the abortion debate is a thing because it's a legitimate debate, right? And the fact we even have to debate it because the world's that screwed up in the first place that we have to make choices like that in the world, yeah, that's really screwed up. Sorry to say it, I know that's controversial to say the world is screwed up, but hey, I'm telling it like it is.
So how about that Joe Biden? <laughs> or the virus that's going around, huh? Those are topical topics. Please be blue. Yes! That is so satisfying. Oh my god. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna blow up? Blow them all up. Okay, doesn't work. <sighs> A darn tootin' shame. I'm getting antsy. That's a nice way of saying I'm getting bored playing this game. So I don't really mean to complain, it's just... When it comes to puzzle games, I, I am enjoying myself all the while hating every second of it. Unless it's like Yoshi or Yoshi's Cookie for some reason, I really like those and I don't know why. It's not like I'm good at them either. I mean, okay, I'm not bad at Yoshi's Cookie, right? Comment below if you've seen my Yoshi's Cookie LP and you think I'm bad at Yoshi's Cookie. I would appreciate it. Um, we, all we need, okay, we need a, nope, oh my god. Why do I keep thinking, there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Oh. Oh, we have a lot going on, okay. Don't worry, we got this! Maybe, am I dead? Did I, why did I flash like that? Oh my god. Okay, wait. Why did that just happen? What, why did the hordes suddenly start showing up? This was not in the tutorial. Okay, we're gonna blow up that because we don't have any more red fellas. Blow those guys up, okay. Let's stick that guy up there. I didn't think about, I don't ever think about things before I do them. Ever. I really don't. Okay, and oh, we just need this fella. No, Wario, I really don't have time for that. Okay. Winner. Did it take us that long at round 18? Jesus Christ, how long have we been playing? 4108. I have a new setup in my room, sort of. It is mildly different than it was previously. Uh, I moved my... Okay, I basically have two desks in my room because I'm using a TV instead of a standard size computer monitor and I'd like to sit a little far away from my computer and I also don't have anything to set my keyboard on because I broke my desk ages ago. Had this desk since I was a kid. Like, a little kid. And uh, I broke the part where the keyboard goes out or where you're supposed to pull out and there's the keyboard and the mouse. I broke that forever ago after I moved on to my parents. So like four years ago? Oh my god, four and a half? It might be closer to five years than four now. Almost, four and a half years. <laughs> Who cares? But, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god, oh god, oh god. We gotta, we gotta do something. We gotta do something now. Oh god! Okay. No, no, no. Stop it, stop it. This is it. This, this might be the end. Oh god. <laughs> uh. We're doing it, we're making a comeback. What was I saying? Oh. So, also, my entertainment center creaks a lot because I have, like, a 200-pound TV on it. And, uh, like, an old, big CRT. And I had another TV, which I was only using to play Switch games on. And I thought, this is really pointless. And occasionally Wii U games, but I preferred the big CRT TV. Because, like I said, I'm afraid of change. Actually, that's not really why. It's that I don't have any good, like, flat screens. Uh, so they're all laggy with AV cables, so the only things I'd really be able to use on a flat screen are HDMI compatible systems, and that's a small portion of what I play. Uh, uh. This is Toad's Grave. <sighs> okay, we gotta get some of these guys out. Oh, we can't do that. 
Oh, I'm glad I destroyed whatever the sprite was trying to lay down. That's nice. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get this guy over here. Get the, oh, oh, that's nice. Okay. That's not what I wanted to use you for, but okay. Now we'll let that happen. Blue. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say a bad word. I right, go back and, oh, can we finish our topic? Oh yeah, so uh, basically, I move some things around and you can hear, you can hear the chair squeaking and the buttons clacking and my voice a lot better than you could before. There's not really anything I can do, I can do about it because my room is so tiny. But oh well. Say la vie. I go back and forth on curse words a lot, and whether, you know, like, is it useful to use them? Is it cringy? Is it, what is it? But they're overused, and I don't know. Now I just, if you kind of use them casually, if you say them angrily, I don't even think it's funny anymore. I think it's just cringy. I mean... Hearing somebody get angry about something, especially like a game, makes you cringe anyway, which makes you laugh, which is why people enjoy it, right? Because people get mad at games, and I never really got mad at games. I, I what? Well, I actually, I think it's this way for most people. Uh, it's not that people get mad at the game. People say they're mad at the game, and they're not. They're mad because, you know, they're putting their Whenever they fail at something, actually, this is why people had problems in the 90s with video games, now that I think about it. Um, but people project their insecurities into anything, so when I make a minor mistake, you know, and I don't get the instant gratification that a video game makes me feel, I feel like a, uh, a failure, I guess. And so, that's why... That's why people usually tend to get mad at video games, because, you know, a lot of people use video games as a way to escape from their problems, you know. And, uh, that doesn't exactly work. Please be yellow. Please be yellow. Thank- oh! <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. I used to be able to play that song on guitar, but I forgot. I haven't practiced music in so long. I don't do anything worthwhile. 